My dear child, I need you to listen very closely to what I'm about to share. What you're going to hear will fill your heart with hope and light up your spirit in a way you never expected. This message is coming to you directly from my heart to yours, and I ask that you receive it with an open mind and an open heart. Take a deep breath and stay with me until the end, for I have something important to tell you. What I am about to reveal can change your life if you choose to believe. Right now in this very moment know that you are being surrounded by my love, by my grace, and by my presence. You are not here by chance you were meant to hear this. My child, I want you to know that I have seen your struggles, I have heard your prayers, and I am sending you signs that you are not alone. These signs are my way of communicating with you, guiding you, and reassuring you that I am with you every step of the way. Pay attention, stay tuned, and listen very carefully because I am speaking directly to you. I know, my beloved, that there have been moments when you felt lost and uncertain. You've questioned whether I am truly with you. You've looked around, searching for answers, for direction, for some kind of sign to know that you are on the right path. Let me ease your heart right now, I have your signs. They are all around you. I am weaving together every detail of your life to create a beautiful masterpiece, even when it doesn't feel like it. Every sunrise you witness, every soft breeze that touches your face, every unexpected kindness that comes your way, these are not coincidences. They are the whispers of my love, the gentle nudges reminding you that I am present that I am guiding you, that I have never left your side. Sometimes the signs I send you are subtle. They might come in the form of a quiet thought that brings peace to your mind, or in the words of a friend that seem to speak directly to your heart. Other times they are more powerful and unexpected opportunity, a door that opens just when you thought all hope was lost. Do not ignore these moments, my child, for they are my messages to you. When you feel that gentle tug in your spirit, that small, still voice that tells you to keep going, or that sudden rush of courage to face something you feared, know that it is me. I am speaking to you. I am showing you the way. You see, I have been there in every tear you've cried, in every prayer you've whispered, in every sleepless night when you wondered if I was listening. Yes, I was there. I am here now, closer than the very air you breathe. And I want you to know that every sign, every nudge, every whisper is designed specifically for you to let you know that I am not a distant God, but a loving Father who walks with you in every season. There have been moments when you felt abandoned, when you looked around and saw only darkness and silence. But even in the silence I was there, working, preparing, and setting things in place for your good. Every time you asked for a sign, and you didn't receive what you expected, I was still answering. Sometimes I needed you to wait, to grow, to learn to trust me, even when you couldn't see. But know this, my beloved, my timing is perfect. I never miss a moment, and I never miss a prayer. The signs I send are not meant to be fleeting, empty symbols. They are filled with my promise, with hope, with the assurance that I am always near. When you see a rainbow, remember my promise that I will never forsake you. When a door opens, remember that I am leading you to greater things. When one closes, remember that I am protecting you from what is not meant for you. Every little thing that catches your attention, Every feather you find on your path, every burst of laughter that lifts your spirit, these are reminders, my beloved child, that I am speaking to you. The language I use to communicate might not always be what you expect, but it is always filled with love. You are my creation, and I am always speaking to you through the beauty around you, through the people you meet, through the circumstances you find yourself in. You have asked for signs in moments of doubt, and sometimes you felt you were met with silence. 
but let me assure you that the silence was never emptiness. It was a space for you to grow, to find your strength, to deepen your faith. I did not turn my face away from you instead, I was watching over you more closely than ever. I was planting seeds of hope, preparing your heart to recognize the signs when they finally came. And now I want you to open your eyes and see because I have your signs. They are everywhere, in every smile, in every gesture of kindness, in every moment of peace that suddenly washes over you. My signs are not just about guiding you forward, they are about reminding you that you are loved, that you are chosen, that you have a purpose. Do not dismiss the small signs, my dear one. They may seem insignificant, but they carry great meaning. The gentle nudge that urges you to reach out to someone, the song that plays just when you need encouragement, the scripture that comes to your mind at the right time, these are all ways I speak to you. I want you to learn to recognize them, to cherish them, and to know that I am always near. Even the moments of trial, the setbacks, the closed doors are signs that I am at work, that I am redirecting you, that I am protecting you from things that would hinder your growth. So when you pray and ask for a sign, remember that I am not just sending you an answer, I am sending you my love, my guidance, my assurance that I am with you. Every star that shines in the night sky is a reminder that I am lighting your path, even when the way ahead seems dark. Every flower that blooms in the midst of a storm is a sign that beauty can arise from the harshest circumstances. Every time you stumble and get back up, every time you choose hope over despair, faith over fear, you are living out the signs I have placed within you. Yes, my child, you are a living sign. The strength you show, the courage you display, the love you give, these are reflections of me working through you. When you feel the urge to encourage someone, to speak a kind word, to extend a hand to those in need, know that you are being used as a sign of my presence in their lives as well. So, my beloved, do not be disheartened when you cannot see clearly. Do not lose hope when you feel that your prayers have gone on unanswered. I have your signs and I am placing them all around you. They may not always be what you expect, but they will always be exactly what you need. Trust me to guide you, to protect you, to show you the way. Trust me to be your light in the darkness, your comfort in sorrow, your strength when you feel weak. And when you feel uncertain, when you question whether I am truly there, just look around. Open your eyes, open your heart, and you will see. I am with you. I have always been with you. I will never leave you. The signs I have for you, my child, are woven into every part of your life. They are in the laughter you share, in the tears you shed, in the quiet moments of reflection, and in the loud cries of joy. They are in the unexpected blessings and the trials that shape you. Each one is a reminder that I am guiding you, that I am holding you, that I am holding you, that I am leading you to a future filled with hope and promise. When you see these signs, embrace them. Let them be a source of strength, a beacon of light, a reminder that you are not walking this path alone. I am with you now and forever. My child, lift your head, open your heart, and trust in my signs. They are my way of showing you that I love you, that I see you, and that I have a plan for you. You are precious to me, more than you can ever know. Every sign is a piece of my promise, a piece of my love, a piece of the future I am preparing for you. Trust in them, believe in them, and know that I am always with you. Let these words sink into your heart, my beloved, and never forget I am your God, and I have your signs. You are my beloved, my cherished one, and I want you to know that every sign I send is a reminder of my unending love for you. These signs are not random, they are filled with purpose, intention, and meaning. 
You are not just drifting through life without direction. Every step you take, every path you walk, every decision you make, I am there, guiding you, supporting you and sending signs to remind you that you are never alone. I know that sometimes you long for something more obvious, a sign so clear and unmistakable that it leaves no room for doubt. But my precious child, it is in the small, gentle signs that my presence is often the strongest. It is in the whisper of the wind, in the softness of a sunrise, in the stillness of your heart that I speak most clearly. When you're feeling overwhelmed, when the burdens of life weigh heavily on your shoulders, remember that I am sending you signs even then. Perhaps it's the unexpected call from a friend that lifts your spirits, or a message that seems to speak directly to your situation. These are not coincidences, they are my way of reaching out to you, of letting you know that I see you, that I hear your cries, and that I am answering in ways you may not always understand. Sometimes the signs come as a gentle reminder to slow down, to breathe, to rest in my presence. In a world that moves so fast, I am asking you to be still and know that I am God. That moment of peace that washes over you when you pause and take a deep breath, that is a sign. It is my way of telling you that no matter what you face, I am in control, and you can find rest in me. And when you ask for a sign of what direction to take, know that I am already making a way for you. It may not be visible right now, but I am aligning everything for your good. Trust the process, my dear one, and look for the small signs of encouragement along the way. The journey may seem uncertain, but I promise you that I have marked the path with signs that will guide you to where you need to be. If you look closely, you'll see them sometimes in a moment of clarity, sometimes in an unexpected detour, sometimes in the very struggle that makes you want to turn back. Even your challenges are signs, my beloved, signs that you are growing, learning, becoming more of who I created you to be. Do not despise these moments of testing, for they are shaping you for a greater purpose. Every time you feel a stirring in your heart, that gentle pull that nudges you forward, that is my spirit within you, speaking to you. When you are faced with a decision and peace floods your soul, that is a sign that I am guiding you. When confusion clouds your mind and you feel a check in your spirit, Take it as a sign that I am protecting you from something that is not meant for you. These inner signs are just as important as the external ones. Learn to trust them, to discern my voice, for I am always speaking to your heart. You have everything you need to follow my lead, my child, because I have placed my spirit within you to be your guide, your comforter, and your source of wisdom. But I also know that there are times when it is hard to see the signs, when the noise of life drowns out my voice, and the pressures of the world make it difficult to notice the gentle whispers of my love. In those moments when you feel overwhelmed and unable to see clearly, I want you to pause and remember who I am. I am the God who created the heavens and the earth, who set the stars in the sky and knows each one by name. I am the God who holds the universe together, and yet I care deeply for you. If I care for the sparrows, for the lilies in the field, how much more do I care for you? If I am mindful of the smallest details in creation, how much more am I mindful of the details in your life? You are my treasure, my beloved child, and I am constantly sending you signs to remind you of this truth. I want you to start seeing the world around you differently. I want you to look at each day as an opportunity to discover the signs I have placed in your path. When you wake up in the morning, thank me for the gift of a new day, for the opportunity to see, to breathe, to love, and to be loved. Each sunrise is a sign of my faithfulness, a reminder that my mercies are new every morning. Each sunset is a sign that I am watching over you bringing closure to one day and preparing you for the next. When you see a bird soaring high, 
Remember that I am carrying you on wings like eagles. When you see flowers blooming, remember that I am causing beauty to bloom in your life as well. These are not just ordinary sights, they are extraordinary signs of my presence and my love for you. And when you're facing difficult decisions, when you're at a crossroads and you're not sure which way to turn, I want you to remember that I am not a god of confusion, but of peace. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. And when you find me, you will find the answers you are looking for. Sometimes the signs I send come through the wisdom of others, a trusted friend, a mentor, a verse that resonates deeply with your situation. Other times they come through circumstances, a door that closes to redirect you to a better one or an opportunity that appears out of nowhere. Do not be afraid of these changes, my child, for each one is a sign that I am actively involved in your life that I am working all things together for your good. If you have been praying for a sign, asking me to show you the way, I want you to trust that I have already heard you. The very fact that you are seeking is a sign that I am guiding you, drawing you closer to me. Keep your eyes open, keep your heart open, and you will see. My signs are often subtle, but they are powerful. They come when you least expect them, in ways you never imagined. But when they come, you will know, because they will bring peace to your heart and clarity to your mind. Do not be discouraged if the signs do not come in the way you envisioned. I am a god of surprises, and I often work in ways that are beyond your understanding. Trust in me, my beloved, and know that I am always speaking to you, always guiding you, always sending signs to show you the way. There is no moment of your life that is insignificant to me. Every joy, every sorrow, every triumph, every tear, each one is seen by me, and each one matters to me. I have written your story with great care, and every chapter is filled with signs of my love and my faithfulness. Even the chapters that seem dark and painful are part of the greater narrative I am weaving for your life. Do not fear the unknown, for I am already there. Do not fear the future, for I am already preparing it for you. I have placed signs along your path to remind you that I am with you, that I will never leave you, and that I have a beautiful plan for your life. So, my dear child, open your eyes, open your heart, and receive the signs I have for you. They are my gift to you, my way of reminding you that you are never alone that you are deeply loved, and that I am always with you. I'll look for them in the unexpected places, in the everyday moments, in the stillness, and in the storms. I am there speaking to you, guiding you, and showing you the way. You are my beloved child, and I will always have your signs. Trust in me, believe in me, and know that I am with you, now and forever. I want you to hold on to this truth with all your heart I am a God of purpose and nothing in your life is wasted. Every experience, every season, every trial you face is woven into a tapestry that I am creating just for you. Each thread, each stitch is carefully placed to reflect my glory and your growth. Sometimes it may seem that the threads are tangled that the picture is unclear, but remember that I see the entire masterpiece. And even when the picture is unclear from where you stand, the signs I am sending are meant to show you glimpses of what I am doing in your life. My child, you often look for signs of where you are going, but I want you to also see the signs of how far you have come. Look back and see how I have carried you through the storms, how I have lifted you when you were weary how I have protected you from paths that would have led you astray. The strength you have now is a sign of my grace. The hope that still flickers in your heart, even after everything you've been through, is a sign that I am not done with you yet. The faith that you hold on to, even when it is small as a mustard seed, is a sign that I am working in you, nurturing you, and preparing you for greater things. Do not overlook these signs, for they are my testimony in your life. 
Every battle you have won, every challenge you have overcome, every dark night that turned into dawn, is a sign that I am faithful. These signs are my way of showing you that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God who was with you then is the same God who is with you now and will be with you in every tomorrow. Remember this truth, my beloved, and let it fill your heart with hope and confidence. I want you to pay attention to the signs I place within your own spirit as well. You are filled with my light, my child, and I have given you the gift of discernment to sense when I am moving, when I am speaking, when I am asking you to step forward in faith. Sometimes the signs come not through external circumstances, but through a deep knowing, a peace that surpasses all understanding. When you feel that gentle stirring, that calm assurance that defies logic, know that it is my spirit within you, giving you a sign that I am near. Lean into that peace, my dear one, and let it guide you. When confusion and fear try to cloud your mind, return to the place of stillness, to that inner sanctuary where my spirit dwells, and you will find the signs you need. I have not left you to navigate this life alone. I am your guide, your comforter, your source of wisdom. I have placed signs along your path, not to confuse you, but to encourage you to uplift you, to remind you that I am with you always. When you feel lost or uncertain, do not panic. Do not rush to find answers in the world. Instead, turn your gaze to me, for I am the one who knows the way. I will light your path one step at a time, and I will provide the signs you need to continue moving forward. Remember, my dear child, that the signs I send are also meant to strengthen your faith. They are not always about providing clarity or direction sometimes, they are about teaching you to trust me more deeply. I may not always show you the entire road ahead, but I will always give you enough light to take the next step. That small step of faith, that choice to move forward, even when the way seems unclear, is a sign that you are growing, that you are walking in trust, that you are leaning not on your own understanding, but on me. And as you take each step, I will reveal more and more of the path before you. You have been praying for signs, for answers, for direction, and I want you to know that I am answering. Sometimes the sign is a green light to go ahead. Sometimes it is a closed door, gently steering you in a different direction. And sometimes it is a pause, a period of waiting where I am asking you to simply be still and trust. Do not fear these pauses, for they are as much a part of my plan as the moments of action. In the waiting, I am working. In the stillness, I am shaping you. The signs of waiting are signs of preparation, signs that I am refining you for the blessings that are yet to come. And when the waiting seems long, when you wonder if I have forgotten you, remember the signs of my promises. Look to my word, for every promise I have made is a sign of my love, my faithfulness, and my commitment to you. My promises are signs that I will never leave you nor forsake you, that I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Cling to these promises, for they are more than just words, they are signs that I am unchanging, that my love for you is steadfast, that my plans for you are good. My beloved, I want you to also recognize that sometimes the signs I send are through the people around you. I place others in your life to speak truth, to offer guidance, to be a source of comfort and encouragement. Do not overlook these relationships, for they are signs of my provision. When someone comes alongside you in your time of need, when a friend speaks a word that lifts your spirit, when a stranger's kindness warms your heart, know that it is not by accident. I am working through them to reach you, to remind you that you are not alone, that you are seen, that you are valued. And you, my child are also assigned to others. 
The love, compassion, and encouragement you offer are signs of my presence in their lives. Every time you choose to speak words of life, every time you extend grace, every time you offer a listening ear, you are a sign of my love. I am using you to be a beacon of light in the darkness, to be a reflection of my heart. When you feel prompted to reach out, to lend a hand, to say a prayer for someone, know that you are responding to my spirit within you. Do not underestimate the impact of these small acts of kindness, for they are powerful signs that I am at work in and through you. You are my vessel, my beloved child, and I have placed my signs within you. You are a living testimony of my grace, a sign of my love to a world that is searching for hope. Let your life be a sign that points others to me. Let your words, your actions, your very presence be a reminder that I am a God who sees, who cares, who loves unconditionally. And finally, my child, I want you to know that I have placed a sign upon you that can never be erased. It is the sign of my love, the seal of my spirit, the mark that you are mine. No matter what you face, no matter what others say, no matter what doubts try to creep in, Remember this, you are marked by my love. This is the greatest sign of all, a sign that nothing can separate you from me. You are mine, and I am yours now and forever. Let this truth be the sign that fills your heart with peace, that strengthens your faith, that reminds you that you are never alone. So my beloved child, continue to look for my signs. They are everywhere in the beauty of creation, in the kindness of others, in the quiet whispers of your own heart. I have placed them along your path to remind you that I am with you, that I am guiding you, that I am working all things together for your good. Trust in these signs, hold on to them, and know that I am with you always. You are my precious child, and I will never stop sending you signs of my love, my guidance, in my presence. Trust in me, for I have your signs now and forevermore. You are precious to me beyond measure, my beloved child, and I want you to rest in this truth I am always near. Every breath you take, every beat of your heart, I am there surrounding you, holding you, speaking to you in ways that sometimes only your spirit can understand. The signs I send are more than just indicators of direction, they are manifestations of my presence. They are the language of love that I speak to your soul, reminding you that you are not wandering aimlessly through life, but that I am guiding you every moment, every step, every heartbeat. When you feel weighed down by the burdens of life, when it seems as if the road ahead is too hard to bear, I want you to look for my signs of strength, they are all around you, in the things that give you courage to keep going. Perhaps it's a verse that comes to your mind unexpectedly, or a memory of a time when you overcame something you thought would break you. Those moments are signs, my child, signs that I have equipped you with a strength that comes not from this world but from me. You have within you the strength to rise, the strength to persevere, the strength to face each day with faith and courage, because I am the source of that strength. I know there have been times when you felt too weak to continue, when you've looked at your situation and thought, I can't do this anymore, but my beloved, that very moment of weakness is also a sign, a sign that my grace is sufficient for you. I am made perfect in your weakness. When you reach the end of your own strength, that's when I step in. That's when my power shines the brightest. So do not be discouraged when you feel weak, when you feel inadequate, when you feel like giving up. Those feelings are not signs of failure, they are signs that you are human, that you are in need of my help, and that I am ready to give it to you. Every time you fall to your knees in exhaustion and surrender, you are not giving up, you are giving in to my grace. And in that surrender, you will find a strength that you never knew you had a strength that comes from leaning on me, trusting in me, relying on me. 
Look for the signs of renewal that I am sending you, even in the midst of your weariness. They may come in the form of a sudden burst of energy when you least expect it, a song that lifts your spirit, or a word of encouragement from someone you didn't even realize was watching. These are my gifts to you, my way of saying, keep going, my child. You are not alone. I am with you, and I will see you through, you see. I know every part of you. I know when you are weary, when you are overwhelmed, when you are on the verge of breaking. And it is precisely in these moments that I send signs to remind you that I am your refuge and your strength, a very present help in times of trouble. When you are too tired to move forward, let me carry you. Let me be the one to lift you up. Look for my signs of rest, my signs of peace, my signs of comfort. When I send these signs, they may come in the form of unexpected moments of stillness, a sudden quiet in the chaos of your day, a moment of beauty that takes your breath away, a sense of peace that washes over you, even when nothing in your circumstances has changed. These are not random. They are signs that I am giving you rest for your soul. I am inviting you to lay your burdens down to come to me to find refreshment in my presence. When you feel overwhelmed, take these moments as signs to pause, to breathe, to remember that I am in control and you are held in the palm of my hand. And when you pray and ask me for signs of my love, remember that you are surrounded by them every day. The sunrise that greets you in the morning, the soft glow of the moon at night, the laughter of a child, the smile of a stranger, all these are signs that I am pouring my love out upon you. My love is not just something that you have to seek or earn, it is something I am constantly giving, constantly showing, constantly speaking over you. Every breath you take is a sign that my love is sustaining you, that I am the one who fills your lungs with life, who beats your heart with purpose. Do not take these small signs for granted, my beloved, for they are my love made manifest in every part of your being. I want you to see yourself as I see you a beautiful creation, a masterpiece, a reflection of my glory. When you look in the mirror and see only flaws, when you judge yourself harshly, when you feel unworthy, know that these thoughts are not from me. The signs I send you are always to build you up, to remind you of your worth, to show you that you are my beloved child. When you receive a compliment that makes you feel valued, when you accomplish something that makes your heart swell with pride, when you experience a moment of joy that makes you feel fully alive, these are signs of how I see you. I see you as more than enough, as precious, as worthy of love. I see you as someone who has a purpose, someone who is strong, someone who is filled with potential and promise. Do not let the world's definition of success, of beauty, of value, distort the truth of who you are. The signs I send you are meant to counter the lies that try to diminish you. They are meant to remind you that you are not defined by your mistakes, by your failures, by your failures, by your past. You are defined by who you are in me, a beloved child of God, chosen, called, cherished beyond measure. When you receive a word of encouragement that lifts your spirit, take it as a sign from me. When you achieve something that once seemed impossible, see it as a sign of what you are capable of with my help. When someone expresses gratitude for something you have done, take it as a sign of the impact you are making. These signs are all around you. If only you have eyes to see and a heart to receive them. And if ever you doubt my love, if ever you wonder if you are truly cherished, look to the ultimate sign I have given you the gift of my son. This is the greatest sign of all, the sign of my love poured out for you in the most extraordinary way. When you feel unloved, unworthy, or abandoned, remember the cross. Remember that I loved you so much that I gave my one and only Son for you, that you might have life and have it abundantly. That sign is eternal, 
unchanging, a constant reminder that you are loved with a love that knows no bounds. So, my dear child, do not be afraid to ask for signs. I delight in sending them to you. But I also want you to open your eyes to the signs I have already placed in your life. They are everywhere embedded in the fabric of your day, in the beauty of creation, in the quiet whispers of your heart. Look for them, cherish them, and let them be a source of strength and encouragement for you. I am with you, now and always, guiding you, loving you, and showing you the way. And remember this, you are a sign too, a sign of my goodness, a sign of my grace, a sign of my love. The light that shines through you, the kindness you show, the love you give, they are all signs of who I am. Let your life be a sign to others, pointing them to me, reflecting my glory. As you look for my signs, know that I am also using you as a sign to bring hope, light, and love to a world that needs it so desperately. Trust in me, believe in my love, and know that I am always with you, sending signs to remind you that you are mine now and forevermore. My dear child, I want you to know that every single sign I have ever sent, every whisper of encouragement, every gentle nudge, every door that opened, and even those that closed, has been a testament of my never-ending love for you. I am not a God who is far away or distant. I am a loving Father, and I am deeply invested in every detail of your life. When you look around and see the beauty of creation, Remember that I am the same God who created you fearfully and wonderfully. I knit you together with such care, and I continue to watch over you with the same tenderness. The signs I send are more than just pointers for your path, they are constant reminders of my unwavering commitment to you. I send them to assure you that you are never walking alone. I send them to remind you that even when you are in the valley of despair, I am walking beside you. I send them to guide you, to comfort you, to protect you from harm, and to bring you into the fullness of the purpose I have for your life. But more than the signs themselves, I want you to know that my heart's greatest desire is for a deeper relationship with you. Yes, I send signs to guide you, but I also want you to learn to recognize my voice, to feel my presence, to know my heart for you, even without needing external confirmations. The signs are there to remind you, to encourage you, but I long for you to come to a place where, whether you see the signs or not, you have a deep and unshakable confidence that I am with you. I want you to know me intimately, to walk closely with me, to trust that I am holding your hand, even when the path seems unclear. And there will be times, my beloved, when the signs are harder to see, when the road is shrouded in mist and you feel enveloped in uncertainty. In those moments, remember this, my silence is not absence, and a lack of visible signs is not a lack of my presence. I am with you closer than your very breath. I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for your good, even when you cannot see it. In those moments, let your faith be the sign that carries you through. Remember the times I have shown up for you, the prayers I have answered, the miracles I have worked in your life, and let those memories be signs that I am still the same God, faithful and true. And when doubt tries to creep in, when fear whispers that I have forgotten you, when weariness tells you to give up, look for the small, simple signs that I am sending. They may not come in dramatic displays or booming voices, but they are there. A feeling of peace in your heart, a sense of being gently held, a word that comes at just the right moment. These are my reminders to you. They are my way of telling you I am here, my child. Keep holding on, keep trusting I am with you. I know that life is not always easy, there are challenges, heartbreaks, and moments of deep pain. But through it all, I want you to know that I have never abandoned you. 
Each trial you face, each mountain you climb, e climb. Each tear you cry, I am there, shaping you, refining you, and using even the hardest moments to bring about something beautiful in your life. The signs I send in those times may be harder to recognize, but they are there, like stars shining in the darkest night. Do not lose hope, my beloved, for I am always working on your behalf, even when you cannot see it. And as you journey through life, I want you to remember that I have marked your path with signs of my promise, signs of my love, signs of my faithfulness. I have gone ahead of you, preparing the way, and I walk beside you, guiding your steps, and I follow behind you, catching you when you fall. I am the God who surrounds you, the God who holds you, the God who will never, ever let you go. The signs I send are meant to draw you closer to me, to deepen your trust, to anchor your heart in my unchanging love. And so, my precious child, as you continue to seek me, as you continue to walk the path I have set before you, keep your eyes open for the signs I send. But more than that, keep your heart open to me. I am speaking to you not just through the signs, but through the quiet moments of your day, through the whispers of your spirit, through the love I pour out upon you every single moment. I want to have a relationship with you that goes beyond needing signs. I want you to walk with me in faith, in trust, in a love that knows no bounds. So let this be your assurance I am always with you. I am sending you signs, I am speaking to your heart. I am guiding your every step. You are mine and I am yours. And I will never stop showing you that I am here, that I love you, that I am for you. Every sign I send is a piece of my heart, a reflection of my love, a promise that I will be with you until the very end of the age. My child, hold on to these truths. Let them fill your heart with hope and peace. I have your signs and I have your life in my hands. You are safe, you are loved, you are cherished. Let these words be a sign to you today that I am with you, that I see you, that I know you, and that I will never leave you. Walk forward with confidence, my beloved, because I am leading you and I will never fail you. No matter what you face, no matter what comes your way, Know that I am your God and I have a plan for you. I am sending you signs to guide you, to reassure you, and to remind you that you are my precious child. Trust in me, hold on to me, and know that I am always, always with you. And now, my dear child, as you finish reading these words, I want you to take a moment to be still, to close your eyes and to feel my presence. I am with you. I am wrapping you in my love. I am filling you with my peace. Let your heart be calm. Let your spirit rest and know that I am your father, your guide, your comforter, your protector. You are mine and I am yours. Trust in me, believe in me, and let my signs guide you into the fullness of life that I have planned for you. You are loved beyond measure and I will never ever stop sending you signs of my love, my grace, and my presence.